This recording demonstrates a uh, capsulotomy over a mature white cataract utilizing tripan blue. The tripan is put in under an air bubble to achieve maximum staining. And then the air bubble and excess tripan will be removed uh, with uh, viscoelastic. An incision is made in the uh, central part of the nucleus. It's an older patient, so there's not a lot of uh, white protein uh, causing pressure. However, it is quite a big cataract, and the uh, capsule rex is perhaps a little more peripheral than uh, we would like. The uh, tear has begun. And again, the, t the tear now is more peripheral than we would like. It helps at this stage to make sure the uh, anterior chamber is pressurized with viscoelastic. And then it is essential to grab the capsorexis close to where the tear is uh, directed at this point and to pull backwards away from the tear area and you will find that the uh, rexus will then start turning in. Again, better to grab closer to the area of the uh, tear juncture. When you don't, you can see it will tend to tear out. Now some reverse tear and then the uh, line of the rexus is back where we want it and will continue to tear. Again, always grab close to the tear juncture. You have more control. Now it's tending to tear out again. So again, it's important to refill the anterior chamber because by this time some of the viscoelastic has leaked out. And it's very important in these cases to keep a, a tense full anterior chamber with viscoelastic and then grab as close to the uh, tear juncture as possible. Right now that's a little bit far away. Grab in a little closer, pull away from the tear and it comes back in nicely and the rexus is finished. The nucleus can then be hydrodissected for phacoemulsification.